Welcome. Today we learn how to use images in your Tkinter window. Let's begin. In the previous class we had learned how to use labels. So today we learn how to use images in Tkinter. For using images in Tkinter, you need to install a library called Pillow or the Python image library. So you should do pip install pillow. You can do this in command prompt cmd or you can do it in powershell or you can do it in any other terminal. So I'm gonna press enter. This is how you install libraries in Python. So you have to install the Python image library called Pillow. So as you guys can see, if it is already installed, I'm getting requirement already satisfied. For you, it will install in a second and then you can start with the tutorial. So now coming back. So now coming back, once you have imported Pillow, once you have installed Pillow, we can import it. So you have to type from PIL capital import image and image TK. So now to bring up images, first of all you need an image. So here I have got an image of my thumbnail. So we are going to use this in our GUI window. So for defining that, first you have to say, you have to make a variable called image as an example equals to image.open and you have to type the path of the file. So to use the image, you have to press shift, then right click, then you see copy as path. Then you have to copy the path, then you have to press ctrl V and paste it. Then again close the brackets and make sure that you add double slashes everywhere. Wherever there's a single slash, you need a double slash. So once you have done this, now you have to say image new equals to hdk dot photo image. This is a tkinter function called photo image, and then you have to give the variable image, right? So image tk is this image tk, and image is this image. Here. So now you have to display the image. So how do we display it using labels? So we can say our image equals to image new, right? Image new. So once you have done that, you can see the image comes up in the GUI window. Now let us make the window in full screen. For that, I'll remove the resizable property. I'm gonna delete that. Now let us run and see. So now can you see the image has come in the GUI window? So this is basically how you import images in the GUI window. Later we will also learn how you can resize these images in the window. So guys, for resizing the window, you have to say again you have to define the same variable image because you are overriding it. Dot resize then you have to put double brackets and you have to type the pixel value so i want to resize it to 100 by 100 pixels right then again close this then you have to give a comma and type image dot anti alias then after that you have to close the bracket right now let us run the file and check so now we have defined the image variable again we are overriding it now we can run the file and check it out so can you see now the image has become very small so you can give it your own size pixels and then you can resize it and move it around in different places now just to move the image around you have to use the dot place attribute so i say dot place i can give the x coordinate equals to 100 and y coordinate equals to 200 now let us see the magic so now you see the images move to different places so basically this is how you can bring up images and move them to different places in the background you can even set it as a background image just by putting the full size of the window as the pixel so that's how you do it guys so guys that wraps up our video in the next video we'll learn more of the such amazing content so till then make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like and share and i'll see you in the next video until then bye